We are back to Pokemon Arceus Legends. Um, so I did just a teensy bit of off-stream grinding. Just a teensy bit. Just a teensy little bit of little, little, teensy bit of off-stream. Why are you sleeping? Get up! Yeah. I did just a little bit of off-stream grinding, and I may now have like six alpha <laughs> maximum involved Pokemon. That are like between the levels of 39 and 60. <laughs> um, yeah, just just a little bit of off-stream grinding. Uh, I also may have gotten just, you know, like a bit more star. You know, like four more. Just just a smidge. <laughs> Alright, but yes, as you can see, I have the spoon god. I have the happy fatty. I have the My Little Pony. I have the Thundercat. I have the bunny, and I have the inner tube weasel thing, and they all serve me now. <laughs> we'll go this way. Pro bosses. They're not going to be level 69. <laughs> I'm going to give them a candy so they skip that. These things literally aren't even worth me, like, coughing on them anymore. I spent so much time, like, trying to fill up my Pokedex. So, I think literally the only thing I need to do with these things is evolve them, which means I would have to have one in my party, and they suck. I don't want to. <laughs> Technically, it wouldn't be hard to, like, power level them, though. Inner tube weasel thing. Yeah, that thing. You enjoy the game with the grinding? It's kind of relaxing. And, and uh, honestly, I didn't like the Pokedex grinding. That sucked. But the, uh, the alphas, going and, like, trying to get the alphas was pretty cool. I kind of actually enjoyed that one. See, so he used his spoon power to, like, smack that. But, yeah, I also explored, like, what little I could explore <laughs> without, you know, doing anything new. Like, as you can see, I'm in the same place with the main quest. I still have to go this way. Wait, there's a request? I should check that out. Um, the, the, the main quest, I've made no progress, but I did explore the heck out of, like, literally anywhere I could go. <laughs> there are a lot of places I cannot go, but I went everywhere that I could go. And uh, that's how I was able to get these stronger Pokemon, because there are actually some really strong things off in the corners. Leave my spoon on my little pony. Yes, exactly. I'm not getting numbed. Oh, thank you for letting me know. I changed it to Pokemon now. Little boy, just a little bit. Just a teensy bit of off-stream grinding. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, we were supposed to go this way. This is exactly where we were last time. And my comp has only changed just a teensy weensy bit. <laughs> Hello there. Mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. You know them? The shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, my friend. Throw one of your Pokeballs at a berry tree, and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Be sure the Pokeball you throw has a Pokeball on it, mind. It'd be a shame to waste an empty ball. If you hand me three of the cherry berries you get, I'll tell you another handy tip. Um, I have like a hundred in storage. Oh my gosh! Why can't you just telepathically grab them from storage? Okay, I'm gonna go get them. <laughs> I also, like, my inventory's been filling up really fast. I've had storage issues. I've just been dumping a lot of things in storage. As you can see, I have 81 of the berries. No, I d What? Stop! Okay, how do I go back? No, no, give me... Oh, right, of course. Alright, move... Three. There we go. Alright, now... We'll go deliver the berries that the guy wants. Easy. Easy. Snoot already has what Snoot needs. <laughs> they took... What? No! No, they did... It's, uh, I have the Nyumzis. I have the three cherries. Hey! Chase! I'm not Nyumzis! Don't say you Nyumzis! A goatee was wrong! I'm not Nyumzis. He has no idea what he's talking about. He lost the rap battle, so therefore everything he says is invalid. If you don't know how to rap, then your words are a rap. That's a W-A-R-A-P rap. Meaning that they don't mean anything. Okay? Only rappers ha ha get to win. Doesn't matter if you're fighting someone who's like really strong. And they have, like, you know, if, if it's the Kung Fu Shifu guy, if boyfriend shows up to the Shifu dude and outwraps him, then, then the Shifu, the Shifu dude loses. And he must abandon his Kung Fu ways and, and Sudoku. For Friday Night Funkin' has shown me that rap is the ultimate authority in determining who wins a fight or not. I'm not Yumsy's issues! No! Tieback's let me work, no numb in chat! I'm not Yumsy's. Yes, you can have the berries. Now give me a tip. Yes. Never Nyumzis. Exactly. Not Nyumzis. Here's any tip. You could throw a berry in your wild pocket to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why don't I give it a try on some of the cricket tot around here? Okay. I'll try.
Where's a cricket tot? So he said, you can throw the fruit at... Oh. You can throw the fruit at the Pokemon to keep it distracted, right? Turn around. <laughs> I didn't realize a berry can make such a loud bonk. Are these berries just made out of solid rock? <laughs> I don't think that bird likes me very much. Great advice. All right, let's keep going. What do I need to do with you? Oh, let's just catch them. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. I don't understand. They said throw a berry at it to, to distract it, but instead it ran away. No. 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 All right, I guess you have to die. <laughs> I'm so scared of you. <laughs> you pleb. You dare challenge the god of spoons. Get spooned, bruh! <laughs> you pleb. Now. <laughs> the berry isn't right. It is very unripe. Wait, what? What saw me? Oh, oh, fine. You want to get spooned too? Did you like watching your bro get spooned? You next, son. You next. Bang! Bro bosses. Spoon the enemy? They got spooned. They weren't ready for it. Near the Pokemon, not bonk it. Well, I mean... Why not? Why can't it- Why can't it be like Slime Rancher where it catches it in the mouth, you know? I throw the berry at it, numph the berry. I, I literally, I was so nice, like I saved it the trouble. It didn't have to numb this far away. Oh, hi. A startled Geodude has challenged the Spoon God. And the Spoon God will slay the Geodude. <laughs> bye bye The Spoon God decrees that you die. I did not have Nyumzi's issues. Oh, he's hungry. Have a Nyumzi. What, is my Yumsy not good enough for you? Really? Spoiled brat. No, don't spoon. Okay, you can spoon me platonically. Spooning can actually be really, really wholesome. Spooning usually means something lewd, but it can actually be really, really wholesome. You can spoon me platonically. Hold me close and give me love. And that's okay. Turn around so I can spoon you platonically, Mr. Rockman. I always wanted to cuddle a rock. They're always so rock hard. Spooning is always wholesome. Yes, I agree. It's really sweet. Love the Empress Avenger Wiggly. Ah! Oh, I need to catch that. That that's like the only way I ever find this thing. All right, Mister. It's bite time. This is what I do to my Wigglies that stay up too late. It's bite time. Actually, wait. Avoided. I, I might actually put one in here. So. No, it's super effective. It did a 22 hole damage. Oh no. Mister, it's bad time. Go to sleep. Avoiding. Really? No, no, no. You're hurting me so much. Fine. Strong sleep. Go to sleep now. Bite time. <laughs> Ow! Someone feeling drowsy. And then what happens when the Wiggly is falling asleep? Time to go into the bed! There's a bed in the Pokeball. It's a, it's a micro bed. Yes. <laughs> mine now. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, Inventor. Spoon God, mine the thing. Why do you want to avoid the number? Because every time I hit the number 69, chat spams gasms. And it's like, but but I said no gasms in 2022. So therefore, I have to stop the 69 so that the gasms stop. You understand, surely. 
Yes, sleep. Sleep so you can't numb the pauses anymore. Okay. You know what? We'll do exploration later. Let's just focus on progression right now. <laughs> He's like, I did not, I did not know. I didn't shake gasm. Snoop on pauses don't gasm. Hmm? Love it. First started wiggly. All right. What do you want, waifu? Mm. Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. What are you doing here? Phew! Thank goodness I got here in time. As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? You realize I have six alphas in my party, right? I suppose that is your business. Fine. As long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. Dee -li whoop Oh, isn't that the... Oh, yeah, the bug thing. I used to have that in my party. That's not it. I already have one of those. <laughs> That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. Whoop. <laughs> that's a siren. And that's what you're here for, Gar, to drive this, that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for this battle. What? I just wasted some berries and you could have healed them yourself. Upon my word, what a large specimen. Little wonder Alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're as oversized as this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They're strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless... I believe you're stronger still than this alpha, so go show it that, beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Garo. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this alpha is powerful and a, and, and, and a hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. Okay, that's fine. I, I have six alphas in my party. <laughs> Sneak around it. Get a backstab. <laughs> One more. All the smooches. There's never too many. <laughs> You're such a derp. You're such a dum dum. I literally am circling you. Wait, can I just catch it? Pretty sure you're not able to just catch them. You have to battle them. What is a bug weak to? Pop quiz! Pop Pokemon quiz! What is a bug weak to? What is the bug weak to? I, I know the answer. I'm just testing you. Tell me, what is, what is the bug weak to? Fire. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? <laughs> Mister! Wake up! It's your bedtime! I think it's like a cutscene thing. I have to like walk up to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drag, hey, you thought the pauses could be sneaky. I can smell the pauses from a mile away. <laughs> That's impossible. The pauses smell good. Not the butt. Fire. It's right center. Big fat foot. Raffy, how's it going? Wait, he's only level 12. Oh no, I feel bad for this poor creature. Press the Y button to check the action order of all the Pokemon currently battling. This shows the order in which Pokemon will take their upcoming turns based on their action speed. The action speed of Pokemon is based on speed stat, but it can be affected by certain moves and items. A Pokemon with a high action speed will be able to attack multiple times in a row. It's filled with wild might. So, uh, they said I should use my strong moves, right? Because, you know, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be so hard. Okay, Rapid Dash, use Fire Blast. Spicy cookie. Uh, you know what else is hard? Sifu! Sifu is hard. It is a difficult game. I agree. Sifu is indeed hard. Correct. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? <laughs> Seeing someone be best in alpha like that, it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of all. <laughs> we best make sure your Pokemon are, are taken care of after facing against such a... <laughs> yes, please. Restore the one use of that move. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What in the world? Other than Sifu, Dark Souls? 
Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro. It's the great word here. Wait, you're willingly approaching me? Vroom, vroom. He looks upon you with kindness, Gar. He doesn't look very kind, he looks grumpy. He looks like, like, like a grumpy, like... Like, what, what's... I was gonna... Like, he's got a Santa beard, but he's like a grumpy Santa. He looks like he's about to impale me. With those horns. <laughs> yeah, see, even my character doesn't trust him. When I was just walking away. I'd say the great word here is taking a liking to you. That is fortunate. How could you tell that? He just walked up to me all grumpily and walked away. <laughs> he is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanse of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy. <gasps> so he's like a mount! Give! He's a blessing to us all. I need it! Catch it! <laughs> I don't need its favor. I need it in a ball. <laughs> I'll make it serve me whether it likes me or not. <laughs> Who cares if it likes me? This is Pokemon, dude. We control monsters against their bidding to help us capture other monsters against their bidding. <laughs> Why would we care about the favor of this Pokemon? <laughs> Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why? It's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor Lavender. Gar. <laughs> Captain Silene sent me. She said that once Garo carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. <gasps> we can fast travel here now? Yeah, I was wondering about... I thought I would only have one camp. It was kind of annoying to have to get around everywhere. And the Dark Souls games. Okay. Uh, Fury was another really hard thing. That's Santa's persona! <laughs> I always thought that would be a reindeer. Maybe it was like a beard. Oh, I know this was a joint decision by, by Adam and, and the commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up more base camps like this. The history region is land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be allowed to use this land. The, co the coexist. She makes it sound like we're gonna be so nice to this Pokemon. Meanwhile, I have quests like capture 25 of them, like kill 25 of them. Does that sound like peaceful coexistence to you? <laughs> the great word here is take it like it to Gar as well. This is a good sign. Yeah, my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Yay, I did it. What do I do now? If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. I love you put that in such a nice way. Start getting to know them better. In other words, capture them, <laughs> poach them from nature against their will. And in fact, if they try to resist, beat them up to near death, paralyze them until they can no longer resist and then capture them in a ball and force them to serve us. <laughs> And then once we're finished with that, then, then we just kill off some others, just, just for knowledge. <laughs> that starts with completing the Pokedex. Yeah, did you actually read the Pokedex? Did you actually read in the Pokedex what I'm supposed to do to these Pokemon? It's not very peaceful. <laughs> anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction core arrives. <laughs> do I have a wolf Pokemon, baby? I, I, yeah, yeah, no, I said Fury. Cool. As peaceful as the Indians and Americans. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm here. Here we have it. Our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our surveys. Nice work today, everyone. What say we all head back to the Wallflower? Okay. <laughs> Pro apologies. Oh yeah, I also have a lot of money. <laughs> Snoot is wealthy pauses. The pauses are bathing. Pauses are bathing in gold shinies. Yeah, I, I did that. Yes. Yay, twenty points. <laughs> it's hard to. I'm running out of things to catch in this area, dude. <laughs> Do you have a wolf Pokemon? I don't know. I have a Thundercat thing. I'm not gonna say Nyumsies because I'm not Nyumsies. Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi, please, and make it for three today as well. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied Cleavor from the rumors. It ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Ah, uh, this is the Cleavor that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. 
Still, if further, in if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokémon, but I'm sure Garo here can handle things just fine. Aw, so much faith in me. Are you certain? I've heard Cleavor's so mighty, even Alpha Pokémon don't compare to him. Well, I have six Alpha Pokémon, and they're strong. Now, now, you forget that the strengths of Pokémon are key items of information that we have the Survey Corps duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. Yes, it's bedtime. See, even in Pokemon, they say get plenty of sleep. Smooch the pauses. Pauses, love you, Reiner. Get plenty of sleep so we can go capture another Pokemon against its will. Good morning, Garo. Oh, it's not time to wake up yet. You should hurry to the commander's office where he decides to use you for sumo practice. What? Sumo? This ain't Sifu. I didn't learn Kung Fu in this game. I'm not Kung Fu pauses in this game. My Pokemon do all the fighting. All I can do is roll around. <laughs> oh, there you are. Let's hurry to headquarters. I don't. I don't want to get sumo wrestled. Please, look who's being punctual. Finally realize you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. What? Who the heck is this? There you go again, insulting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the font of all creation and ruler of space. <laughs> you could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. <laughs> Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of you, you vast history space? Better than some. It's a miracle you showed up on time, oh mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you'd get lost in the pointlessly, pointlessly vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me get lost? I know Mighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis. You wish. <laughs> I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. <laughs> okay. You can feel the tension when those two show up. Yeah, you think? <laughs> you haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who was going on and on about time, Adaman, leads the Diamond Clan. Oh, is that like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl? They had the games like that. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean, the commander is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. Just got the right to ask. I have interesting theory about the game. You got DM the theory to you? Uh, yeah, I guess you can DM it to me. Because theories you have to be careful about. Because speculation, I mean, obviously this game has been out for a little bit. Plenty of people have beaten the game. But since I'm playing it once a week, I can only make so much progress. What's this? Oh yeah, the board. Yeah, yeah, Zubat's eyes. Clarissa from the secret doors is working on something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady investigate as necessary, if you please. Okay. There are no other requests. Then I shall not spend any more of my time here. We're gonna hop on over here. Wait, wait, I need to go upstairs, right, to the commander. Maybe. It's definitely got that animu vibe, vibe about it, where people are so over the top. But honestly, I mean... It's not happening too much right now. Like, there's not an... It, it, at least the dialogues are kind of short. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Would you mind letting me hand a pickling stone? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice, firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm, but I suppose it'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself up, actually. So what, you want a rock Pokemon? Oh, I have a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Deer Track Heights. It'd be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back here for me? I'll head home and wait for you there. Wait, no, I have it right now. I'll, I have it right now. Let me just give it to you. Are you kidding me? You suck. I have nine of them. I have nine of them. I could have literally given you one right now, you derp! Why did you leave? And now I don't even know where she is. Oh. <laughs> I literally have nine of them. Okay. Thank you for the like, Digi. 
Dude, what 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 if Pokemon like devolved to like like it's it's the Geo dude's purpose would literally just to be to hold down the lid of a pot while pickles are fermenting. <laughs> that is your purpose now. You used to live out in nature, now all you get to do is hold down a pot lid for the rest of your life. Enjoy. What do you what do you intend to do about that Cleavor Commander Kamado? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adamant. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleavor is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly where a lord of the Pearl Clan is concerned. Oh, wait, wait, no, he's still... Uh, if my people were to do something, our two... Well, no. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. I mean, you're kind of at the throat of this chick already. But even folk of the galaxy team have, got, have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would, would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleavor into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clan knows, too. Hmm. I see you've arrived. That's right, pro apologies. This is Garo, the newest member of our survey corps. Aha! I hear from my you earned word year's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I'm Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adaman. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? Actually, yes, I am. I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale, and you really have passed through that rift. I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleavor before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleavor? This newcomer with no experience? I have experience! I have way stronger Pokemon than what you have! Says the leader with almost no experience. Oh! <laughs> Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing history's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. <laughs> this should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon in those strange balls. <laughs> and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. It, it kind of should. It's pretty messed up. <laughs> Almighty Sinnoh made his sweet vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon. Oh, really? Only so that we could live together. <laughs> could someone explain this to me? Someone please explain this to me. Help. Help. Wigglies. Explain explain these two sentences to me. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we could live together. So okay, so so maybe what what he's trying to say is that Pokemon are just inherently violent, so we have to control them in order to calm them so that they don't attack us, so that we can live together. Is that what he's trying to say? Oh, we're not try we're not doing it because we want to control them. We're doing it because we need we need to control them so that we can have them next to us so we can live together. <laughs> That's why you have balls with chains in the bedroom so you can live together in harmony. That's not how that works. <laughs> Allow us to show you what we could do. No use of Pokeballs. We could just control those to teach them, train them. I don't know, dude. It just it just sounded so contradictory. This is your mission now, Garo. I order you to study Cleavor and help us find the truth of this situation. Uh... <laughs> Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Okay, well, illusion of choice, I guess. <laughs> I have to do it anyway. The frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Well, that's settled, and there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleavor is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Pfft. Somehow I doubt that. I'm pretty sure I could wreck this guy. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl Clans, understand? So kill the Pokemon. Got it. Join me downstairs, Gara. We'll cover the details of this new mission. 
I don't know if allowed to post, uh, to what- you, you can post them from here. From this stream, but otherwise, no. Alright, let's see this. I would really prefer not to be spoiled about something that's gonna happen in the future of this game. Ah, good! You're already here! Professor Lavington, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Garo, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleavor's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleavor is a mighty thing, nigh invincible. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleavor when they were attacked, but... I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. Is he talking about the Alphas? I think he's talking about the Alphas. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you could handle it? No. <laughs> well, you're no choice in the matter. <laughs> then why do you even bother, like, asking and stuff? Let's go over the details that you need to know. You have a mission to carry out. Massive illusion of choice here, dude. The Diamond and Pearl Clans reveal their nobles because they believe these Pokemons serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this Cleavor. Garo, we need to speak with you. Okay. Where's the other chick? Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time. By Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have been just swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, old amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleavor, quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps to deal with, with regards to this whole Cleavor situation. Oh-ho, you, you must be that Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleavor. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control, too. It's hard for, to, for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy Team, of all people, for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off of the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleavor. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share his sweet, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleavor at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know? He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Oh, was it? My bad. Go ahead, go ahead and put it again. That was my mistake. I apologize. He certainly left quickly once he'd finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. He left quickly once he'd finished talking. I suppose he values his time. Wait, Akari, who's... Oh, Akari's the chick in the back, right? Adamant and Mai weren't wrong, you know? If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleavor, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp would be a handy place for setting out towards Grand Tree Arena. You should stop by the pastures, too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. I think I've got a pretty good team as it is. Rope horses. I'm really thirsty, Wigglies. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you can put it again. My bad. Mm. Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across? Satchel always seeming full. Yes! Yes! Yeah, that sounds like you'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment here what I have to say. Yes! Why do you all look the same? <laughs> yes! You can carry around even more than that satchel if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you. Yes! I like addition by teaching you need. Yes! You made space to keep one. One? One? More, 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 200. Oh my gosh, it gets more expensive every time. More, 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 space, more, space, more, space, more, space, more, space, more, space, more, 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 yes, 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 
More! 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 There's gotta be a faster way to do this, dude. More! 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 How many times could I do this? It's not shake as More! 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 It's not shake as More! 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 Yes! 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 More! Give me more! More! More, 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 more. Oh gosh, it's starting to get more and more expensive though. More, please. There needs to be a faster way to do this. This is so annoying. More, more. Give me more. More space. More space, please. More, more. Yes. 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 More. More! I had so much money, I'm running out of a lot, but it's worth it. It's worth it. More! More space! More! More! Yes! We're not gonna have inventory problems ever again. It's not shake! I won't shake as in more! This is about holding items in my satchel! It's more space so I can store more things, okay? We can store Pokeballs. There's actually a lot of different kinds of balls that we could store. We could store berries, mud, wood, shinies, consumables. Nothing up the butt! It's going in the satchel! None up the butt! Bad! More. Oh gosh, dude. I don't have enough to afford the next upgrade. <laughs> well, I think we'll be fine for a while. Mm. How much did my inventory expand? Nice! We got so many slots. Beautiful. Dude, I might not even need storage anymore. I might be able to just put everything in my satchel. Impunge! Let me press scope quickly. 59 slots. It's not a shake wall. I'm not storing balls in a smug shake wall. Not heavy balls. Okay. Did the shop expand, by the way? No. I think I'm just going to take everything out of storage and put it in my inventory. There was a chick that, that said she wanted to geodude. So now you're ruined. No! It's not what he said. No! No shake a little butt shake as No, the butt! The butt! No! No gasms in 2022! Why are you looking at the butt in such an unplatonic way? But yeah, I am legit super broke. <laughs> I spent all my money. Where is that waifu that wanted a geo dude? I don't know where she lives. <laughs> Didn't she say she was gonna be by her house? Where's her house? I could probably use the request guide thing. The heck is this place? I've never been in here before. Hi. I'm in the business of photographing folk with their Pokemon. Why not have your photo taken? No. <laughs> Snoot has all the balls. Too late. No, I don't have a shiny problem. No shake all at the pausies. If you had the pausies, what would you do with them? Only good things, not bad things. Okay? No, not numbs. Numbs are bad things. Only do good things to the pausies. Nothing bad to the pausies. I don't remember what I was doing. Okay, there we go. Wait, 
Yeah. Let's find where we need to go for this. Ah, okay, cool. Pause here, you can rub the pause, you can't numb the pause. No, not yumsies! Hey, Zora, how's it going? Heavy balls, not shakeable. How about a tongue bath of the boys? That sounds lovely. I'm getting the toes, he's excited. As long as it's a platonic tongue bath, then you may do so. Oh, are you gonna give me a Geo, dude? Yeah. Give her the lowest level one. What's the lowest level one that we have? You are not worthy of my high level Geo, dude. You're gonna have a Geo pleb. I guess the ones I got in the story are the lowest ones. <laughs> I got higher level ones just from exploring. Take the- give her the lowest HP one. Eh, give her that one. Yes. Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock. It seems to be the ideal weight too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young man. With this Geodude tell, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. <laughs> he seems so excited to be enslaved as a pot lid holder. Dude! Oh, wait, no, he said that. Dude! Yo! I didn't realize the Geodudes were so radical. Like, dude! I got, I got, uh, this is lit. I get to hold this pot lid down for the rest of my life, dude! Yeah, surf's up, dude! I'm holding down these pickles! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, not shake all like maybe or not maybe. No, it needs to be absolutely platonic. The unplatonic goes to horny jail, okay? And that that's that's a bad place. And bond, I love it. Are the pausies clean? Yes, they walk in the snow all day. They are clean unless they are made unclean. <laughs> Dude, you can hug the pausies. That's good. What do you want? You look so snobby. You there. You seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you tried to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. You look so mad, and I look so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> so without further ado, here's the recipe. And that's it. I've come up with a new recipe. Is there a recipe for crafting pokishy dolls? Guess they're both going to- Hey! Hey! I'm not- No! You have no proof! You cannot charge the pausies with horny- un Unless you have proof. And the pausies have never done anything bad. The pausies don't gas them in 2022. Yeah, you could hug all the pausies. That's good. No? Is it horn honk? That's- No. I don't go there. Uh, three logs of wood. This is the recipe for what I've named Pokashi dolls. I invented them, you see. A special items that we can make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Please make me a Pokashi doll. What a beautiful quest name. All right. Time for some crafting. Fight the stoot. The fight, fight stoot is a happy, happy stoot. Pawsies are not yumsies. And they don't do a bad. Snoot is not going to horny jail. All right, so I might as well take everything out. Bum, ba, da, bing. Now that we have space for it. I think, anyway. I inventory was kind of a nightmare to manage before, so I'm really... Really glad we got to have a better way to manage our inventory space. I don't actually know for sure if we have enough space for all this. Let's see how much we have left over once I do this. But this is the overwhelming majority of like all the items we could ever possibly find right now, so... If we at least have some space left over, I think we'll be okay. Oh shoot, that's cutting it kind of close actually. Hmm... Hum, 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 hum. Might want to rethink some of these items. Huh. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. You never said the pause here, Do not yum the pause. Kaiju, I'm not yumsies! No, call me yumsies! And no, no, shake all the pauses. You can lick them, but you can't yum them. Okay? Only platonic love to the pauses. All right, wait, wait, I could have crafted in there. I'm such a derp, but I'm not a numsy. Yes, licks are fine. Numbs are not fine. No numbs. Where's the crafting bench? What? What? Wait, I could just craft on the go, though, yeah. Okay, I'll make one. Oh, I can sell it. Interesting. 
Gazy. I'm a pro policy. Never in Yumsy and never a Gazy. You Snoot hasn't done anything that would make Snoot a Gazy. <laughs> Love you, Fresh Satoshi Wiggly. So Yumsy only gently, not ungently. Okay, let me give um give the doll. I have it. What's this? Why? That's a Pokeshi doll if I ever saw one. Please, let me have a closer look. Amazing! Just look how smoothly you've carved those curves. Oh, you know you love my curves. <laughs> Dragon, you're here! Because I press this Dragon, I hope everything's okay. No, don't dump the easy and don't tickle the pawsies! Well, you're gonna make me laugh! The pawsies are very sensitive and ticklish, and the pawsies are gonna, are gonna cover themselves in ice because they're scared. I love your curves, you avoid you! <laughs> And I love your attention to my curves. Your attentive carving shows you put love and care into her handiwork. And those colors, you definitely give it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. We don't talk about the inner part of the curves, mister. Not to mention, this Pokeshi doll is perfectly balanced. At a glass, you'd think it's sure to fall over, and yet it stubbornly remains upright. Wow, I didn't realize I was such a master craftsman. <laughs> Whew. Thank you. I've saved your Pokeshi doll to my heart's content. We use the same recipe, and yet your Pokeshi doll had a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokeshi doll I made. I took great care in crafting it, so have a look and see how it differs from the one you made. Watch them be like exactly the same. It is exactly the same Pokeshi doll. <laughs> okay. Tickle the Weezy's. No, you're very sensitive and ticklish. You're gonna make me squirm. You're gonna make me wiggle and squirm. I'm gonna fall all over. It's been a long day, I understand. Rest and relax, my friend. Take all the time you need. I'm here for you. Only gentle, not the ungentle but Do not tickle or numb the paws. That's correct. Be gentle with the earsies. Fine. If, if, but you said you were going to numb the earsies. How could you numb in a gentle way? What would you do if you were trying to numb the earsies in a gentle way? How would you do that? Yeah, don't numb the earsies. Oh, I can just barely afford one more bag upgrade. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. More. 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 Yes. 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 More. I love how, like, he doesn't actually, like, improve the satchel. He just teaches me how to pack things in there better. 18,000. I'm so poor. <laughs> Can you numb the berries? But I found them. You have to give me something for the berries. If you want my berries that I found, you have to give me something for them. What can you give me for the berries? Yeah, don't bite the earsies with the teeth. That's not gentle. Not shake a woe shake -gasm. There's nothing to shake a woe shake -gasm at. Okay? The pawsies are for walking around. What's so shake about it? They just walk around on the snow. They carry me where I need to go. Because they're good pawsies. Wait, this is not the correct gate. There is no love lock. No. There is no com There's no love lock that would have a combination. I'll give you my love for the berries. <laughs> okay. The more love you give, the more berries you get. Okay? You give some swooches and cuddles. You give the pawsies some love, you'll get some berries. That's a fair trade. I could agree to this. There he has my love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, then I'll already give you some of my berries. What's going on now? How are things, my good friend? Oh, it's you again. I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. I'll think nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps about, out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. But I haven't given you a single, like, penny yet. <laughs> Three super potions. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Okay. <laughs> Heading outside, stay outside. Yeah. Let's go to the Heights camp, I guess. <laughs> I'll give you company for the berries. All right, fine. You can have some berries. I'll give you some. There's no pop berry for juicing! And yes, exclamation mark join, join the raffle for 420 snowflakes, exclamation mark join. <laughs> Anybody's more than welcome to join the raffle. All you gotta do is type exclamation mark join and you are in. Now, which way? That way. Oh, okay. All right, we'll go then. If you if you had five minutes, leave, you would would you let would I let you numb the pauses? Why why is that the thing that you want to do with your final five minutes to live? You don't want to like I don't know say like goodbye to your family or make amends with like some people or anything like like. The, the, the first thing that comes to mind is is numbing the pawsies. Like, <gasps> I have five minutes to live. I have to find Draggy and numb his pawsies. Or like, oh, whoa, the butt. Why? Why? 
Why why is that what you have to do in the last five minutes? Is there is there nothing else you'd want to do? Think about how to make a family friendly? <laughs> no, you can't numb the board! <laughs> this game looks great overall. If you did already have a PS5 bought a switch, hey, congratulations on getting a PS5. Those are really hard to get. Even now, hasn't that console been out for like two years now or something? It's been a while. <laughs> I think like a year and a half. A year and a half. They're still really hard to get. I think an Xbox Series X might also be difficult. I'm not sure. I don't need an Xbox as I have a PC. Pretty much everything I can do on Xbox is on PC. Thank you, Microsoft. But, uh, PlayStation's only on PlayStation, so I didn't really have a choice. Dang it, that's not a back hit. Like, it's looking like it looks like I hit him in the back, but yeah, no. It's yeah, been a while, it has been a long time. Dream Satoshi Eclipse, congratulations on winning the snowflakes. You're in the meanest No! No last wish, numb the pauses. You may not numb them. You never numb them. <laughs> sure you think GTA. Sorry, that's why you're a little bit fine one in your area. Oh, well, I appreciate it, Dream. Any an Xbox either? Yeah. PC all the way, man. Excuse me. Ah, oh, snoot is getting clogged. Hang on, I need to blow my snoot. Let me mute first. All right, I'm back. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Please, calm down. <laughs> There's so much to know the pauses. Use a spoon to protect the paw. Exactly. The spoon god will keep the pauses safe. Hmm. Yes, the spoon god is almighty. I'm going this way, I'm going this way. Pro pauses, pro pauses, pro wist of the pauses. Never getting out. Okay, so we gotta get over there. How shall we do this? <gasps> Pikachu! I see a Pikachu. What's new, Pikachu? Oh, we know it's what's new, Scooby Doo. Hey, Pikachu! Pika, Pikachu, Chu, Pika, Pikachu. Get inside my ball, you squirmy, squirmy rat. Do not resist. Watch a good boy. <laughs> Draggy might be a girl. Watch a good girl. Draggy might be a boy. That's a good rat. Oh. Elbow drops faster. Fat man enjoying cheesecake. What? <laughs> don't spoon the pika, but what if the pika wants it? No, I don't even want to spoon the pika. I'd rather spoon my wigglies. I love cuddling my wigglies. You mean the world to me. Yes, year and a half, but for buying an Xbox Series X, brother, definitely easier PS5. Gotcha, gotcha. At least one of the next gen consoles is easier to get. I don't really think I need to do much with these boys. Who are you? You need something from me. Have you come across a tree shaking and swaying? I suspect that's because Pokemon are up in the tree feasting on all its berries. Hey, those are mine! Shiny lock dictates they all belong to me. You can't have those berries. They're my berries. It's my yumsies. Cut the watching one day. I gotta get to see dry avatar VR. I'll work on that. Don't worry. We're, we're working on like a, a rollback version that will be visible. I need to catch them and defeat them. Oh, okay. What is the burb week to? Confuse the burb. <laughs> bye bye, Staravia. Oh, thank you for the lurk, Inventor. Boop, 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 boop. Let's go. Hi, Badoofs. You're not worth my time. Time. You're not worth my time. Because you're a little pleb, pleb, and you're not worth my time. No. No. You want a Nyumzi? Wow, yeah, I have a lot now because of, I'm carrying everything. Have a Nyums. Blueberry is Nyumzi's, but I am not Nyumzi's. Blueberry is Nyumzi's. Yay! 
<laughs> you got smacked in the butt with a ball. What you gonna do about it? That caught you off guard, huh? You weren't expecting that one. You weren't expecting that one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now it's my turn. This dude like the game? It's alright. Yeah, it's decent. Uh-oh. It's fight time. Uh-oh. You can't move. Okay, don't do too much damage. Be gentle. Only the gentle, not the ungentle. Only the gentle. Bro, ball is easy. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Don't... Okay. Okay, then. Maybe I should have used someone else. <laughs> Other than my highest level Pokemon. <laughs> Absolutely obliterated that poor alpha. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Breed's too strong. Oh no. Alright, let's go find this Zapdo or whatever it was called. Hanako? Z Zado? I forgot what it was called. The, the freaking warrior god Pokemon or whatever that was blessed by Sinnoh. Or Arceus. I don't remember. The, do the- th just follow the quest marker. You may see a Pokemon now. Well, thank you, Darius. I appreciate it. I'm glad that you can- you like suits power. Ah, it's this way. Okay. Alright, sure. We can go this way. I figured this was important for something. I did reach here before off stream. But I was like, wow, this looks important. Let's not continue this way. <laughs> sure enough, yeah, it's very important. Alright, well, we're heading in. Hmm? Thank you, Arda. Welcome back. It's good to see you. In we go. Huh. Is this that brilliant kid that loves the Pokemon that I'm supposed to absolutely brutalize? I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden of Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleavor, am I, aren't I? Oh yeah, his name was Cleavor. Of course I am, I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. <laughs> That's that then. <laughs> Truly, you mean to simply give up? Is your passion for Cleavor so paltry? <laughs> but well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue. It really is an illusion of choice. He told me to leave. I said, okay. He's like, really? You're going to give up that easily? <laughs> I've been told in no uncertain terms by Arita that I am to let no one near Cleavor. I'll fight you off myself if you insist. I mean, I could get my spoon god to absolutely destroy you. <laughs> It'll probably make your brain self-destruct. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. I'll take you on. <laughs> you don't even realize I'm turning away for your own safety. How sad you are. Let's go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Aw, what a cute baby. It's a Babu. We have baby Gucci. It's a Poro. Oh, let's set the, let's settle the score, right? Let's set the record straight. We have Poro. Versus the Spoon God. Well, let's not hold back, shall we? Spoon God, let's show Poro some love. <laughs> bye bye, Poro. <laughs> He's so sad. He's like, Draggy, that was my kink. Now I can't get good anymore. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're gonna have to keep your skin and bones, but I'm not letting you turn to goo. <laughs> no, I'm not becoming dragon goo. <laughs> How could this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. I'm pretty sure I can handle myself, kiddo. <laughs> the only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. I mean, I can return the favor. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering, a nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his local warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of his moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor is rampaging and running amok. Exactly. Nobody goos me. There's nothing that an outsider like you could do. 
The ancestors of Cleavor were dear, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it said. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in vast history today. Irida, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hoped we could bring the situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleavor from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. <laughs> the expressions. It's like everybody only has like three or four expressions, so they switch between them, and it's just such a radical change. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? No. <laughs> Your commander tasked you investigating this mess, didn't he? Le Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleavor, and hopefully we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you have to search every corner of vast history. Can I just... Wait, what's this? Your arc phone is beeping. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Wait, couldn't I already do that? I thought I could already do that. <laughs> Press the X button while consulting the map on your iPhone to instantly travel to base camps and other locations. However, be aware this feature might not be usable in some situations. I thought I already, like, I already, I already was able to fast travel. Oh my gosh, but I'm gonna have to walk all the way back again. All right, it's fine. Yeah, nobody going me. No one's ever Not going to be how good you. No! Dragon, he wanted to go with the bossies. The bossies are supposed to be blue. He wanted to make them purple and gooey and slimy. No one is allowed to slime the bosses. So, so he got, he, his, he, he got, he got blown to smithereens. <laughs> Judge Dragon. Quarter cam seems to cover a bit of the dialogue. Okay, I can raise it a bit more. Let's do it just as a god phone. Yes. And I also have a spoon god. Good to see you, Garo. And how is your research into Cleavor going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleavor quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. Okay. I caught a Pika Pika. Maybe that's Ash's Pikachu. Dude, I started the stream, I was so rich, now I'm so broke. <laughs> okay, let's go. Pro pauses, pro pauses, proest of the pauses, never getting no. So according to the information you were able to learn from Irida and Leon of the Pearl Clan, were this the normal cause of events that frenzied Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods? I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from this frenzy? By your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. I mean, what? what? <laughs> That's not how you read books. You don't just stare at them. <laughs> I swear, if he just says, like, merge the foods, then I'd be like, I have it! Put the two foods together! Eureka! <laughs> I swear, if he says that. We'll simply have to throw the food. It's even worse. <laughs> we know what food he wants. We can't get close enough to give him the food. Let me study my notes. Let me study these books. Let me let me study my desk. I figured it out! Throw the food! Yeah! Give this man the Nobel Prize. He's a legend. You've quite the art for throwing things, haven't you, Garo? May I suggest you take Cleavor's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Elaborate, please. I, I don't understand. Instructions unclear. <laughs> I threw it directly at Pokemon's head, and now he is angry. <laughs> yes, it's all coming together. We could use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleavor's beloved foods into balls. Oh, okay. Then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles. Well, how about tea time balls? Puts one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? <laughs> Why wouldn't you simply call them Lavington Balls, Professor? Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. <laughs> In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? 
You should get back to Grand Tree Arena and let the Pro Clan know our plan. If you're off to Grand Tree Arena, but set out from the Heights camp, eh? <laughs> Food battles. But Gujo is cute. Is it Gujo? No. No. I, Gujo, wanted to go with the pauses. It was going to the pauses. It wanted to numb the pauses and cover the pauses in its goo. And that's not cute and innocent. It's bad. It wanted to go with the pauses. <laughs> don't yum I'm not yumsies. People don't much maturity drag. It's okay. Never the shake on yumsy balls and no tea time balls either. So he's like, is this what it takes to be scientist? No. I mean, you could apply the scientific method to anything, but I'm pretty sure it shouldn't take that effort to figure out that you just need to throw the balls. And he was so excited and proud of himself. If anything, a real scientist would be like, wow, I'm so stupid. Why didn't I just think of it? Just throw it. Like maybe he was trying to design like some kind of elaborate contraption. He's like, well, why don't we just throw the food at it? My, my, that galaxy hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, I'll give them that. Oh, yes, I came because I had some news I thought you might be interested in. But you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to, what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? Yeah, okay. You <laughs> I'll use my spoon. Ooh, just smack the goo with the spoon. Smack Poro with the spoon. <laughs> Drag, hey, hey, GT, how's it going? There's not bedroom concept. <laughs> Thank you, Avenger. I love you very much. Oh, what's this? Why here? I spoke to Word here about what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field and seeking a way to quell Cleavor's frenzy. I have all this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you could see how he responded. What with Why here? I trust you appreciate. Oh, yes, that, that Why here was magnificent. I truly am captivated by his passionate voice. Word here's found you worthy, you see, which means you'll, you'll need a flute like we have. A flute? Am I demonstrating for him, I? This is very important, so listen well. Is he gonna teach me Zelda's lullaby? That's hard. I don't know how to play that. Why? What? No, no, one note at a time, please. Why here? So I can get him to go, why here? Whenever I want. That's a Celestica flute that I just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on word ears so you could ride upon him. It said the Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sino itself, and now this one's yours. Gib. Gib. Gib shiny. You gave me air. Oh, okay. Flute can be used to call special Pokemon while battling to bury around the region's timbers, eerie and mysterious. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. <laughs> See if you can play that melody. Okay, I'm gonna make you Wair, all right? Let's go. A cute flap. Aw, thank you. The woodwind, bad musical pauses. My ear! Where'd you open his heart and learn well the sound of your playing? Why did I even have to use the flute if it already likes me? Why can't it just obey me? You received the mind plate. The mind plate? Stone tells me with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the psychic type. Oh. Now use that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great word here. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With word here, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. Mm. Love you, I first so Why does it look like Grandpa? It does look quite old. Pawsies in the air. Cheer with the pawsies in the air. They're in the sky. They're waving because they don't care. Happy pawsies. You can call word here and gallop across the land. Let's go. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from my places while you're riding them out. <laughs> Why? This is basically Nobu 2.0. What's so bad if I make it fall? What do you want? Take out my adorable balloons with your poke. Wait, get off. We found Nobu 2.0, Wiggly. It's time to treat it with love, just like how I treated Nobu so well. First, he had a gun the flame, and now he's got a Pokemon transformation for him now turn him and turn himself into one. <laughs> Wait, oh, Grandpa. Oh, no. <laughs> that Grandpa. Nice to meet you, young servant core recruit. I hear you have the rare ability to dash over hill and veil on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me any time, so let me know whenever you feel like testing your skill in the balloon race. Sure, I'll do it. Yes, do it. Yes. Yes, I want to play. There are a total of 30 balloons on this course. Let's see how many of you can burst in 45 seconds. Now get out there and start bursting! Bro, pause. I can get him. Wait, oh, it's the Pokemon balloon thing. Bro, pause. GG. Ok, 
Get it, get it, get it, get it. There's like momentum, I have to be careful. Yes! Now about the moving balloon. Yes, 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 yes. Bro, pauses. GG. Bro, pauses. GG. Bro, bro, pauses are never ever yumsies. Yay! 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 No, no, I want to get them all. No. got all of them. Lucario! No, no glaring at me. With a tier one, five month resub. All oh, the exclamation for guy, but Jeffrey Lucario's tier one, five month resub. You get all the guard emotes. Enjoy those emotes. Enjoy the sub badge. Actually, let's go five months to try as your day in-house Pokemon Arcade. It's always going good. I'm having fun. I'm 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 busting I'm the balloons because pro pause. I hope you've been doing well. Here's a close to person ball. Little reward should help keep you motivated. Raspberry, that's it? That's it? You have to burst at least 17 balloons. Well done, you. Aww. Rare candy. Feather balls. Is there the easiest lot? Let's see if you have a text challenge them all. Raise your skills to the next level. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Rare candy. Instantly raise the level. Oh, holy crap. Well, we'll get the most value out of this one. One more time. One more time. Yes, 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 yes. Go 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 bo 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 go 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 no go 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 bro pauses gg bro pauses gg get all the boons cause bro pauses gg snoot pops the boons snoot is bro pauses get all the boons go bro pauses gg no 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 Pro pauses, GG. Pro pauses, GG. Pro, pro pauses are never ever numsies. Yes. 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 Boon. One more, 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 re, 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 go. One more, one more, come on. Go, pauses, cheer the pauses. Type exclamation mark pro or exclamation mark prop. Exclamation mark prop is exclamation mark pro pauses. Exclamation mark prop to say pro pauses. I'm not boom blocked. I'm pressing the wrong button. Oh my gosh, I wasn't dashing. Re, I may have already thrown this one. Pro pauses, pro pauses, pro pauses. Pro is the pauses, never getting yumsied because I'm a prosy, hiding all the toesies so they don't get slurpsied. Okay, at least we didn't mess that up that time. Okay, okay, I think we're doing pretty good this time. Other than, you know, forgetting to sprint at the start. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> I got a feeling. Ooh, ooh. That snoot's gonna pop the boons. That snoot's gonna pop the boon. That snoot's gonna pop the boon. Yeah! Pro pauses, pro pauses, pro wisdom of the pauses. Never getting numb. I got them all. Perfection! I'm a balloon bursting boss. I deserve something special. A nugget. A nugget of the pure skull that gives off lustrous gleam and direct light. Can be sold at a high price. Ooh, he gave me money. Rare candy, yay! Okay, let's level up to Alakazam again, because he's my highest level Pokemon, so he's the most expensive to level. <laughs> Bro, pauses. GG, let's go! Pauses in there! You normally have three seconds of breathing time. Well, we don't know if this actually... Jump, Nobu, jump! Who's your good Nobu? <laughs> Did I just get my first game over? Oh no, what have I done? No! No! Wait! No! It should have been Nobu that died, not me! No! We need to go- <gasps> MY NUGGET! No! I need to get my nugget back! No, 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 oh my gosh, my nugget! No, 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 that's like the best shiny! No, 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 I need to get my nugget, that's what you get, no! No, it's not true, no, no, I want my nugget back! <laughs> 
No, no. Where did I die? It was like here. Where's my satchel? No. No, no. 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 My nugget. No. Oh, no. At least I lost my shiny. Nobu's legs should have broken up. No, I didn't deserve that. He's supposed to be some kind of god divine Pokemon. He should be able to take it. He should be fine. No. Bad. <laughs> no, bad. <laughs> it's okay. Someone will return my satchel, right? Somebody boot up Pokemon Legends and get my satchel. Someone, I died over here. Return my satchel, please. This isn't a Skyrim horse. It's a Pokemon horse, so it should be even better. Someone return my satchel. Boot up Pokemon and get me my satchel back, please. Oh, thank goodness you can actually loot while moving. Your mouse not a shock absorber. Well, he might be a shock type. You never know. So maybe he actually absorbs shock quite well. <laughs> These antlers look like they're, they're lightning rods. They probably conduct electricity very well. I'm sure he's a great shock absorber. <laughs> look where we're going to park. Thank you, cafe. I appreciate it. <laughs> someone will find it. <laughs> I mean, it's right next to the camp in the first area. I think someone will find it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have it. You put it, you put your fast. You put. I mean, it blows these on the bottom out. No. If I pixel one already updated with these new Pokemon, I don't know, baby. Is that how it works? Yes, because I found other players' bags. It is exactly how it works. Someone has to find it and then I'll get it back. <laughs> I love how that was my first game over. <laughs> it shouldn't have even been my legs that broke, it should have been his. <laughs> So you say that you galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleavor's frenzy. Yes. What? You mash up Cleavor's favorite foods into balls so you could throw offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. But you galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleavor from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleavor with his offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. What now? Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleavor's favorite plump beans. I've brought them, as promised. God, that's right. My apologies, Eric. I've forgotten all about you. <laughs> I'll admit, I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy Team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should have trusted such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy Team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're more worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. So I get to wreck your sister now? Bring it. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I'll entrust you with Cleavor's fate. Will you battle us? Sure. Then allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your depths. <laughs> Bring it, waifu. Bow to the Spoon God. <laughs> Embrace your spooning, whether you like it or not. <laughs> it's time to get spooned. <laughs> Nighty night. And it was a critical hit. Nice job. <laughs> Dude, you're not even, you're not even, you're, you're like, that was not even like scraps of scraps of food, like XP for my Pokemon. That was like nothing. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> she's basically saying, because I absolutely obliterated her Pokemon, she's like, I see. Pokemon, you choose to use Pokemon. You're, it's not because you're like trying to control them or being mean to Pokemon. You use them because like you, you choose to for the Pokemon's greater good. Yeah, exactly. By me choosing to absolutely obliterate one shot, like your Pokemon... <laughs> That that proved that I actually care about Pokemon. I'm not just trying to control them. That, that but no, this is just for the greater good. I choose to use the ball. That I'm, I'm glad I could persuade you <laughs> that I do this for good by obliterating <laughs> Pokemon. I'm not gay, bro. Blow fart nugget is just only 10k money. Oh no, but I need shinies. I'm bro. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. Yeah, sure. They're not they're not my slaves or anything like that. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me tend to see your Pokemon's wounds. What wounds? I obliterated you. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleavor's favorite foods together, ball them up, then try to close frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting, so you developed soothing bombs of sorts to calm our lord. Very well, if it'll help soothe Cleavor's frenzy, let's make these bombs with their very hearts and souls. 
Gee, that's not gay. I'm very ticklish there, mister. I'm sensitive. No tickling. There, a veritable mountain of bombs. I should please Cleavor if anything can. Now then, ready yourself and I'll summon our mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Let's not be... No, I'm ready. Whatever. As am I. Here we go. How are you doing, Dre? I'm good. I'm wrecking everyone in Pokemon. No, not smug sensitive. Oh, mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods. Though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord, who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Garo, keep your focus on Cleavor. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Grass oh, he's a grasshopper. Did my friends abandon me? I'm all alone. Whoa, he's fast. Okay, this one actually looks dangerous. What the heck? He has access for arms. Dude, he's gonna split me in half. What the heck? Uh... You want some yumsies? I got you some yumsies. I'm not the yumsies, though. To claim victory against noble power while it's friends, you have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening on the noble's defenses, you may be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle, the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. In the window, bombs will be more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Okay, so I gotta create an opening. So he's gotta be stunned, and then I can throw a Pokemon. Okay, got it. Sounds good. I'm the boop. I'm the boop. I'm the boop, but not the no. But not the. Ha ha ha! Wait! Yay! Oh, I, I could have hit him in the back. He's only level 18. <laughs> oh, that's the classic Pokemon music. Wreck him! Wreck him! Yay! 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 Yes, yes, I'm I'm the boop, I'm the boop, I'm the boop, boop the butt, 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 boop. I don't think he likes the butt boop. Move, 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 move. Oh. Boop the snoot, boop. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Boop the axe, boop the axe, boop the axe, boop the axe. Wait, that's a spin, isn't it? It's showing the AOE, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop the shoulder, boop the shoulder, boop the axe, boop the, boop the the inner thigh run run boop the axe boop the thigh boop the thigh boop the inner thigh boop the chest boop the inner thigh boop the axe boop the axe oh he's doing a spin boop 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 the axe boop the chest boop the move 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 oh he hurt i don't know how i literally wasn't split in half from that axe <laughs> boop the chest boop the thigh boop the chest get away Boop, boop, and boop, and boop, and boop the head, boop the head, boop the head. Watch out. I think I need him to crash into a rock to make him vulnerable. What the? Yay! 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 No, the butt is not gay. It's a scyther evil. Oh, okay. Yay! Yay! Spoon God! Spoon him! Platonically, of course. He could not comprehend the platonic, for he was too horny. And now he is stunned. <laughs> I'm the boop, I'm the boop, I'm the boop, boop the butt. Yay! <laughs> Looks like he tried to disembowel you. Yeah, I, honestly, I should already be disemboweled after that one hit. <laughs> Did you see how he just casually split that tree? <laughs> Bro pauses. Where does that look familiar? No. Yay, he's not glowy anymore. I guess that's a good thing. Whoa, we actually got a lot of XP out of that. Yay, my, my, my weasel inner rat tube thing, inner tube evolved. Hi. Can you not split me in half, please? Insect plate. It's imbued with the in essence of bugs. When used on certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type. Okay. You're a bugsy. So wait, how does he like... How does he touch himself? His act, his hands are axes. He can't. You know what? Okay, forget I asked. How does he? How does he? Uh, how does he scratch an itch that he has? Let's put it that way. How does he scratch an itch? How does he scratch an itch? His hands are axes, so I don't think he can be happy. 
How's it going, my loons? Good to see you. Why you think that? I'm asking the real questions here that nobody asks, okay? He removes the itch. Oh, no. He just amputates it. <laughs> what happened? He replaces the itch with the gash. He uses willing dragon. No, no, no. Why? Why are you smugging me with the willing dragon? I'm not a willing dragon. We established it in, 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 in change. Snoot is not obedient. I'm not a good boy. Bad. Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleavor's unnatural power? Maybe. <laughs> and I nod, yeah. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came from out came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleavor and driven him into his frenzy, after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift. If Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space timer, then the strange lightning is, was indeed the Almighty Sinnoh's power? And then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs as if I knew what I was doing like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous! Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the pro clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Garo accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we can settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the group with this painful frenzy, please help them. I mean, I would need a different bomb, right? Um, yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for briefly be becoming briefly decomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please, take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier as a token of my thanks. Again, more air. Three citrus berries. Ha, but they spelled it with an S instead of a C. Let me care for your Pokemon as well, in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. Aw, how nice. He gets his mate to do it. Okay. So I'm not good boy! Drop a four meters high, it kills you, but it acts swings tor straight towards you, hit you, and you're fine. Game logic's now put down for derp. It's true. <laughs> sure thing, Dario. See you soon. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. It seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong, after all. I wouldn't mind catching him and making him mine. Okay. Now, report to the... Yeah, yeah, report to the commander. Pro policies. I did a good. Melon! Melon likes mangoes with the Prime sub. All oh, the exclamation mark hyper chat for Melon likes mangoes Prime subscription. You get all the Gar emotes. Enjoy those emotes. Enjoy the sub badge next to your name. All the exclamation mark hype and exclamation mark more hyper chat. I appreciate the support. It means a lot to me. Welcome, my friend. Hmm. Hmm. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. What do you have there? Could it be? Ah, oh, those two of the fabled plates of old. Please, let me have a look. Oh, the bug and psychic ones? I see there are some letters carved into Let's see, this one says, Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. It seemed to be a phrase from a very old myth. How'd you come across these? I see. So you were given the place when you impressed Wordier and Cleavor. That is quite reaching indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across history. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way until next time. Easy peasy. Did you get that bag back, by the way? Uh... Yes, 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 yes! Wait, how do I get it back? No... No, nobody, I've retrieved four dropped items for others. Nobody's retrieved mine. Help the Borgies, get me my bag. No, I'm not a good boy with Zenith. No, Oh, I appreciate my loon. Thank you so much. Found out 20 minutes after I got minutes of the lovely C19, so I decided to show love. Well, thank you. That means a lot, my loon. Someone get me my bag. Borgies are sad. I want my bag. Can someone get me my shinies? They're gone. Did you set yourself online? Oh, crap. <gasps> Oh no, I can't go online because I don't have Nintendo online. 
Oh no! Oh no! So my shinies are lost forever because I don't have Nintendo Online Pay to Win! To No! I did lose the shiny, it's gone. Hey, listen to this. I saw something on the wild. That was incredible. What was it? The thing was, it was a will o' the wisp, a ball of bright red fire. When I was walking, I windswept run the other night. I left, I'd be like, whoa. Okay. Add it again with this story, huh? Don't listen to her, mister. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tale. Oh, for goodness sake. I'm not making that up. I saw that will o' the wisp with my own two eyes. Oh, yeah, then why'd you throw it to me? Good luck with that. So frustrating, you won't believe me. I honestly did see one. So you're with the Survey Corps, right? I hear you're quite the prodigy. I bet you could catch a Will o' the Wisp. You can go catch the one I saw and bring it back here. I mean, what do you want? What, what, what exactly is it that you need? Oh, okay. I have to go to a specific spot. You have to set yourself to online and someone's to find it. Oh, well, I guess it's gone forever then. I feel bad for Provost. Mm -hmm. I can't just go back and get it myself. Nope. That would prevent them from <laughs> encouraging me to buy online, so they don't let me do that. <laughs> Welcome back, Daryush. Nyaba to Shiren. Peculiar Ponyta. Rather she's Ponyta. You must investigate the matter. Okay, is it the Alpha? I have that already. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Gosh, progression might be slower than I thought. All right, I think we gotta go talk to the commander again. Snoot is not a siren. The si si siren is like if there's a tornado or something, then a siren has to go off. Snoot is whining. I'm a crying sad dragon. Harum! Well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisui's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I've received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in history. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you are truly an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Dude, how many times do I have to prove that I'm an asset to you? I'm literally taking care of these legendary problems that are wiping out your people. <laughs> like, I'm the only one that could do it. I'm already a massive asset. You'd be hecked if not for me. All right, let's go. You get a shiny pony top for SideQuest. Really? So we should everybody feel better? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. But you gotta smooch the boys too, and I'll feel extra better. Bunny, old chum. The usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Can I have some meat, dude? Can I have some cooked Pikachu or something? Oh, is there anything else you'd recommend? By all means, bring it out. Little Phil just gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against a cleaver. Mister, it's not luck, it's pro -pauses. I dare say Gar was well prepared. And he was a quick study of how Cleavor moved in battle from what I heard. Now that is true. I avoided his attacks very well. All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. Make you feel safer going about our survey corps duties now thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of those? I made the recipe based on directions Benny gave me. Smoke bombs. What do I do with smoke bombs? Lovely. And now that we've not need not worry about being mauled by Cleavor either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. I think we got access to a new region! Why does he love you, Daryush? I thought the Emma tries and she like you're the, the Ma. Garo. Oh no. No cooked Pikachu. <laughs> Fine. Can I have some cooked uh, Bidoof? <laughs> no cooked Pikachu. I want some meat. Do you see any other source of meat in the wilds? I only see Pokemon. <laughs> we have to hunt to survive. The <laughs> pot. Why does he love you, Let me blow my snoot one moment. I know one more source of meat. Mister, there's a problem with that meat. First off, I can't actually consume it. I can only suckle on it. So I don't actually get meat from it. I get milk. That's not, that's not what I need. I need meat! I need a filling, mister! I need meat in, in my body, okay? That's what I need. And then, and then, so to, to satisfy my protein hunger. Garo. 
I've been waiting for you, Garo. My name's Vesa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? I'm pretty sure rule number 69 of the street says no getting lured away by creepy old ladies. But she's not old. I don't know. For some reason, I thought she was old. No! Not a filling! I mean meat! Okay? Like chicken. But there's no chicken, so I want cooked Pikachu. Not seen it! Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. History's in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But for now, for some, for, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Garo, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a normal response to hearing such a strange story. I must sound crazy. But you just have to believe me. That's like the perfect Among Us argument. Yeah, I don't believe you. You just have to believe me. Can I give you this odd keystone anyway? It'll help you see I'm telling the truth. Okay. I'll take a free shiny. You obtained an odd keystone. <laughs> it looks like a frowny face that was split in half at the top. <laughs> a mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that grow with it, glow with an eerie purple light. Oh, okay. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hisui. 107 of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. Collectibles? See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame over in there? Try touching it. I don't know. It looks spicy. And it might be an ungentle spicy. Waiting for you to. Long stick of you, perfect. It's a Slim Jim. Oh, you know, I actually eat long turkey jerky sticks every day, and they're delicious yums. Touch. So I'm gonna have to actually interact. I was hoping it'd be like an automatic sucky sucky. It looks like I just sucked that into my soul. Are you trying to corrupt me? Are you trying to trick me into becoming this ancient being? The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. I felt that absorbed into my soul. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some reward as thanks. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. Okay. They're probably not even marked on the map, are they? Get all the wisps, you get a free ledger. What? Okay, don't tell me more. What? Guess what I'm doing off stream. <laughs> Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. No, oh, hey, you're Gar the boy who quilled Cleavor, aren't you? Who's to say? <laughs> you can't fool me. You've got quite the reputation, you know. That's right, so on your knees. Smooch the pauses. I mean, you quilled one of Almighty Sin's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. It's okay, the pauses are here to do good. I'm Arizu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Really nice to meet you. I could actually use a haircut IRL, no joke. <laughs> oh, snip, but I came here to talk to your Mr. Cambodo. See you around. Man, he is popular, isn't he? Why, wow, you're delicious Slim Jim. That's good. I used to eat Slim Jims, but now I eat turkey jerky instead of beef jerky. It's leaner. And it's kind of low salt, too, but it's still preserved well. <gasps> Have you expanded your stock? You there, valid customer. Wouldn't you rather I had more wares for you to choose from? Yes. Not necessarily. <laughs> well, listen to what I have to say, would you? <laughs> Tao Hao. Dude, they, they literally don't care about what I have to say. The Tao Hao refuses to provide me with new goods to offer. It puts me in a tight spot. He won't listen to what I say, so would you try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get to somewhere if you bring him some hearty grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks ought to do it, but I'd make it three to play it safe. Let's do that real quick. That's important. Oh, crap. I don't have any. Heck. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. love you, Avenger and Arda. Oh. I have a shiny Buizel. Aim throw with- What, another one? All you gotta do is lots of balls to try to pop some balloons. Easy peasy. That's a fine prize. Yes! 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 Yes, do it! Do all of the f- Oh, he's gone. Holy crap, there's a lot of side quests. Yo, yeah, we're server court. you think goodness you came along? Can I ask you to fetch a plan for me? If you, this tastes bitter enough to make you dizzy. Our girls try asking Anissa in the medical core. 
Maybe I have this? Okay, I don't have it. Okay. Once a good popsicle over the zen No Zenith! Turkey Turkey can't say you've ever heard of it. <gasps> it's my pony. My little pony, my little pony. I set them on fire. Watch them burn and scream in agony. What's up? Hey, survey guy. You know what you need to do to be a super awesome member of the galaxy team? I'm, I'm already... Oh, you're asking me. Be super brave. Nope! I mean, I guess that's also important. But you already have a partner, Pokemon. If I get partner Pokemon back at you up, you'll be as strong as 100 people. I mean, I'm gonna catch a Pokemon my own some days. I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. Now they're ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them since you're in the survey corner. Do you think you'd give me just five of your Pokeballs, please? Fine. Woohoo! Now I can catch a partner Pokemon on my own. Here's a award just for you, some grit dust. Super hard to collect, so I hope you like it. If you want to know more about what it does, you can ask Captain Zisu. She knows all about it. I just gave a child Pokemon. You realize, like, he could die while trying to catch a Pokemon? Or if he caught one, that he would, like... I find a Pokemon would be a great partner for me. He, he could either die while trying to catch a Pokemon, or, like, he could catch one and then use it for, like, something bad. What if he gets in a fight with, like, Jim? And, like, Jim... What if Jim, like, bullies him, and then he gets mad, and he brings his Pokemon? He's, like... <laughs> He's like, Charizard, use Flame Breath. It just absolutely vaporizes that other child. Children should not be allowed to control Pokemon. Oh my, you. You know, you remind me of some of my grandmother. She was always so friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to me. Yeah, like the one that I, I jumped off the cliff with. <laughs> I feel that same aura from you. As if you could become true friends with a Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon you carry with you. I hope you'll come show me sometime. Uh, okay. Yes, I am friendly. Uh, maybe even my spoon god loves me? Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You're a true friend. You're yes! My grandmother is precisely like you. The type of person who can understand the minds and hearts of Pokemon. See, my Pokemon love me. I'm good to them. No, don't tickle the pauses. Humans can withstand Pokemon attacks. I feel like that's just like plot armor. Realistically speaking, they should not be able to withstand them. <laughs> An electric shock like that, or, or, or like being burned, I mean, you should not be able to withstand that. <laughs> Those are some very easy third degree burns right there. I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of a knack for sensing how compatible a person and a Pokemon are. I like to, you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I'm happy to inform you at any time how they're feeling about you. Oh, okay, so he measures the friendship. Candy is a waste of time. No son of mine will become a chocolatier. Don't tickle pauses, don't tickle pauses. I am not yumsies, never ever yumsies. Hide the hide the toesies so they don't get yumsies. What do you want? And everybody wants a piece of me. What do you want? <laughs> I'm just the person I was waiting for. There's a Pokemon I was hoping you could bring me. I've been trying to make a business of offering the groundbreaking experience of having your photo taken with Pokemon, but no one around here seems to understand the appeal. Perhaps they're all just too afraid of Pokemon to get over their reluctance. But I happened to accidentally catch a Pokemon in this photo and it gave me a brilliant idea. I know where that is. Oh wait, what is that Pokemon? Isn't that the bunny? It's the bunny, I think. See how fluffy it is? How adorably soft, how irresistibly impossibly cuddly. Once people see a Pokemon like this in a photo, they'll all want to have their portraits taken together with it. But I need to get a better shot of it than this one. Can you find one? Could you bring it here? Yeah, I have it. Hmm. <sighs> Six more levels for Alakazam. Wait, really? Oh, no, no, 69 bad! We actually don't want to level him up too much or he will, he'll start disobeying me. <laughs> what can I help you with? About the request you had. I think I got the Pokemon you wanted. Get the bunny! You're right, yes. Get the bunny! Get the bunny! I got the bunny. What's oh, even fluffier and loving than I imagine from that photo? This is it. This is exactly it. Let's get a proper shot at once. The asymmetry bothers me. Why is one of his ears so smaller than the other one? I was able to get just that shot I needed, thanks to you and that Pokemon of yours. You should go a long way towards getting some of the other villagers over their fears into some photos with Pokemon. Nice. 
we'll see on. Love you, Precious Stars lately. <laughs> Get the double triple A battery pony. Get the double triple A battery pony! Get the bunny! Get the bunny! Get the bunny! A. In we go. Up we go, up we go. Pro pauses, pro pauses, proest of the pauses. Never getting them. The pauses are not delicious. No numbing them. They're not yumsies. What now? What do you want? Hmm, so it's come to Ursaluna as well. This is just even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzy. Mm. I've received no word from Adam and Ryuda, but this is not something we can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks for some reason. You did well to inform us of Ursaluna's situation. No problem. Adamant's got his hands full running our clan, and Ursaluna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day. So the galaxy team are the only ones I could turn to about this. Ursaluna's warden is Mistress Kalaba of the Pearl Clan, is it not? Of all the wardens, she's the most narrow-minded. Ahem. <laughs> Bound by tradition. Minded. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. She likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you, Garo. I order you to study Ursaluna in the Crimson Mirelands. I permit you to show me your strength if necessary. So show it your strength. Yes, not as strong. Pro pauses, I can take it. Do you have a gold duck? I think so. I do not numb the pauses! The next area you'll be sent to investigate is the Crimson Mirelands. You'll find the Pokemon living there to be more fierce than those in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the landscape itself is harsh with steep ravines and seaside cliffs that is not welcoming. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirelands on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place with the Mirelands known as the Solesian Ruins. This is where you'll find Ursaluna's Warden. Yoosh! Wigglies, we're going to a new area! Awesome. Mushroom, okay. Wigglies, I will probably do these side quests off stream, not gonna lie. Main quest I'll keep for the mainstream, otherwise like, we're never gonna finish this game. Look at the hashtag of the po- is it a 69? <laughs> I don't wanna look anymore. Ignorance is bliss. I don't wanna- I don't wanna know. <laughs> I'm not looking. <laughs> what is this waifu doing here? This is my mission. Oh, hello, Garo. I was just getting itched to battle with you. Now here you are. It must be a sign. Okay. I've got a mission. You know, really did help you acclimate? I think you owe me at least this much. Fine. I'll wreck your Pokemon. You just want to be spooned. I get it. You really, really want to be spooned. I'll spoon you. Let's have a fine battle so I can grow closer with Pikachu. Oh! A rematch with Pikachu. How nice. So first off, it has been repeatedly told to me that I should use a certain spell called Calm Mind. Okay, fine. I'll calm my mind. She knows your mind is calm. Okay, good luck. Oh, that's so cute. That's adorable. You think that's actually gonna protect the Oh wait, it's a psychic. Aw oh, heck! Aw oh, heck! Okay, fine. Bring out the pony. Or should we bring out the Snorlax? We haven't brought you Snorlax yet, right? Let's use Snorlax. How do wait, what what are what are psychics weak to? I don't know, we're gonna try Snorlax. Come back, Alakazam, I buffed you for no reason. <laughs> I love how I'm thinking about types when we're like 30 levels higher. How did you avoid the attack where you're such a chubby? All right. <laughs> Snorlax, use double edge. <laughs> oh, what an adorable rat. Snorlax, how are you dodging all these moves? You're so fat. Snorlax, use double edge. <laughs> well, that was quick. Get wrecked. Oops, I keep finding myself caught up in observing the way the Pokemon use their moves. Bug, dark, go scary things. Ah, oh, okay. Got it. Pikachu may not be very happy with me. <laughs> yeah, you literally sent out your Pikachu to get squished. 
Your Pikachu literally just got squished by a fatty at like supersonic speed. How did it feel? <laughs> Thank you for battling the here. Have this new recipe. Stealth sprays. Okay. So we're gonna study those strange space-time distortions. You know the one I mean? They've been appearing here and there lately. Seems like they hold wonderful eyes of frightfully strong Pokemon too. If you can go into the one, be careful about it. And time to head to the Myerlands camp. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Ah, it's all the way over here. Okay. Pro Philosophers. <laughs> Poor Pikachu. Hmm. Are those hot springs? Here we are, my boy. The Crimson Marlins. An area teeming with poison-wielding Pokemon and plenty of others besides. I've heard about your mission, Garo. If you're looking for the Celestine Ruins, they're off that way. Oh, I see it. Okay. In the mountain. For now, I'll keep searching for those space-time distortions. There's a little way of knowing when or where one might appear, but I'll do my best. It should be handy if my map could tell me. Oh! They're dangerous places where powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. Counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best you can, but be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? A wild Pokemon will give you trouble, so just you go to the training grounds and have Captain Zisu teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Gucci, Gucci. Let's put some things away because I'm afraid that we're going to find a lot of new items here. I guess that'll do. All right, let's rest. <laughs> Alright, Shizzy Dar, you shall see you soon. Love you lots of precious wiggly. Fine battle indeed. No, I'm not Nyumzies. It's the same items, rip. Poke, Pokemon. Pokemon. It's a Pokemon. Poke, Pokemon. Would you kindly turn around? Oh, hardy grains. You get them from here. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> How did that even bonk you? It was like a piece of wheat. How is a piece of wheat going to bonk you? <laughs> Draggy is not Nyumzies, but Draggy is cute. Is that right? Exactly. Never nyumsies. I love we got bonked by a piece of wheat. <laughs> bonk. Dude, that bonk is like the best. I love that sound. Turn around, ducky. Ducky, 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 ducky. Turn around for proposies. That's not a... T what the heck was that? You turned around like 300 degrees. Ducky, 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 ducky. Turn around for proposing. Wait, we should we should be focusing on the story. I could do the grinding off stream. I'll tell you what I do. Oh, he brought got out of the ball. You jerk! Get captured. Oh, fine. D Wait, he's a Psyduck. The Psychic's probably not gonna do very well. I'm not a Pokemon. You can't catch me in a ball. I guess if we got there, the Psyduck and maybe Pikachu. It's okay. I don't remember them very well either. Nyay! <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Is that a flying carnivorous plant? That means it's mobile enough to numb the apologies. I don't like this. Car carnivine. It is a carnivorous plant. Oh, no. Turn around. Turn around. Go numb something else. 
Don't numb the posies. Turn around. Turn around. Fine. I'll throw you some berries because clearly you will like berries. Actually, there's no need because you turned around like a derp, like a derp, like a like a derp, like a derp, derp. <laughs> Pro boys, pure water type. Oh, okay. No, you're not. Do not call me yumsies. Made an impact on that. <laughs> Turn around. Do a good. Do not. Do not. Do a bad. Do a good. Do not. Do not. Do a bad. Let me hit you in the back. Do a good. Do not. Do not. Do a bad. Got him. The game is pretty strict about what counts as a backstab. Broke out again. What the heck? No. Now you must die. Not very effective. Okay, munch on him. Crunch it. Show it that I'm not Nyumzis. There you go. Bye bye. Can I tonight? Thank you for the luck, Inventor Venter. Thank you for the luck, my friend. Dang it. Go, Snorlax. Get him! Zen headbutt! <laughs> oh, it's alive! Ow! No! No, don't poison my big boy! He's big! I don't want him poisoned. Pokeball time! Sparkle, Warkle, give me shiny pro posies, pro posies, proest of the posies, never getting them. I have no idea what we're gonna find in that shrine, but I'm curious. Boop! I nibble, I nibble, I nibble, but not the num, but not the num, cause not yumsies, not yumsies, pro posies, never ever yumsies, hide the hide the dozies, so they don't get yumsies. Come here, mister. Come here, come here, mister. Get a ballsy in the back, back. Get a ballsy in the back, back. Show me your back so you can get a ballsy in the back, back. Do you want the berry? Berry is yum. She's go, go, numb the berries. I can put the ballsy in your back, back. Ballsy in your back, back. Numb the, numb the berry to get ballsy in your back, back. Boop. Big boy, no, no, big boy, no, but it's not in an old way. It's not balls, shake all smug in the back! It's Pokeballs. You have a higher chance of catching them if, if you smack them in the in the back with the ball than if you smack them in the front. It just works better. With the ball, Z, end up. That was not the back. He was like twisted around himself. I couldn't tell what the back was. Put the ball, Z, in the back, back, ball, Z, in the back, back. Pro pauses, pro pauses, pro is the pause. I think this area's music is kind of quiet. It's quieter than the other areas. Let me turn it out up a bit. Much better. Dodging is everything, everything. When a wild Pokemon's lashing out you with its moves, you can dodge right out of the way. While you're dodging, the moves will whiz right by and not hit you. Oh, this music's actually pretty decent. What's going on here? Who is that? Some old lady next to a, the evolved version of the Bidoof. Put the ballsy in the cup, she. That's right. I'm Calibur of the Pearl Clan. Warden Calibur to you. Hole. Now would you look at that? You have a Celestica flute. Oh yeah, I forgot I had that. I should use that. You must be the one they save a lot of the space-time rift. I guess. Why the vague prompt response? Mm, something to hide? No. I'm just tired of everybody knowing me. <laughs> I've already heard about you, that you quelled Cleavor in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle this situation. Oh, really? <laughs> then why didn't you do it, huh? What you did is hardly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission. I threw food at it! It was its favorite food! How is that bullying? If someone gave me yumsies, I don't think that would be bullying. 
and into submission. Sweetheart, I didn't do anything a woe to that Pokemon. I just purified that corrupting lightning from it. And you run about catching Pokemon up with those little balls you carry. Yeah. So what? I don't need any help of your sort, or the Diamond Clan for that matter. That young lady, Arizu, offered to help, but associating with the Diamond Clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There's much I must do. I prefer not to be distracted any further. No. No, I'm sad. Ah, uh, Garo, how about you show me the strength that you could that could quell even a frenzied lord? Okay. <laughs> a battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. Okay. Sure, face me, you pleb. What have you got? Really? Ag? You sent Ag. Fine. <laughs> Ag versus Fatty. Come here, Ag. Squash that Ag. Squash that Ag. I should just do this. Squash the Ag! Yeah! The Ag has been slain. <laughs> You're making my guy yawn. Oh, it's so pretty, Torcho! Oh, it's so cute, it's trying to do damage. It's so cute, it's trying to do damage. Oh, it's so cute, it's dying. Oh, it's so cute, it's zero HP. Oh my, you're quite adept at destructing a Pokemon in battle. Yeah, I'm really good at pressing the same move over and over again. My goodness, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Such prodigious strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. Well, no, I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wool fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Oh. No, I got only eggs! Even the small one will be bigger. Well, my big one wins this one. <laughs> but basically, I'll have it battling how much start. Well, that's why we need to find one of those, like, those time rift things. I think we'll get some fun stuff in there. Only gentle, not ungentle to the butt. Okay, let's do it. All fragment. Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Selassian ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Have you not heard of the notorious misfortunes? There are a trio of bandits that have even hit us Ginkgo Guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I'd like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Calibur is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but at 99 years old, it's a bit hard for her to chase leads all over the place. Yes, that's right, waifu, you need my help. So what do you say, kind sir? Why not help find the fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally, I'd be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters swiped my wares, too. And I'm no ginkgo guild merchant if I take that lying down. Far be it for me to let them just get away from it, vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Mylands camp. Perhaps worth checking out. Okay, we'll go that way. <laughs> hey, Chris, how's it going? It's good to see you. Track down the shady band. Bro, policies. Never in Yumsies. No bag dead. Only gentle, not done gentle. Type exclamation mark gentle. Don't type exclamation mark ungentle. Only gentle to the butt. Not done gentle to the butt. Be gentle, not done gentle. Be gentle, not done gentle. Be gentle, not done gentle. Only gentle to the butt. Ain't a ginkgo a kind of plant? It might be. Nobu, swim! Oh no, no help, 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 Noble, 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 sorry, Noble! <laughs> oh, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> only gentle, not ungentle, okay? Only the gentle, not the ungentle, only the gentle, pro pauses. It's not dead arm, okay, I didn't die. It's a burnout campfire, someone must have been here. 
Now, who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. There's only one reason people go poking around out here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't ya? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly. Before we show this poor fool how wrong he was to assume he could ever beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. Oh, wait, so you're really gonna have some kind of dramatic introduction here? I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. Thought you spotted a four-leaf clover? Well, I'll soon have you seen double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Okay. Heads, I win, and tails, you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest, coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Okay. We're the infamous bandit trio, the Misfortune Sisters, and your luck's just ran out. Uh, so I have just one thing to say to that. Spoon God, go! Oh, let me handle the sisters. I'll only hurt him a little. Come on, Toxic Croak, let's douse this fool in poison. You only have one Pokemon. <laughs> it's a tiny froggo. That's so cute. My Snorlax thinks your tiny frog is adorable. That's like me and Sifu. That's like me and Sifu, uh, trying to, like, fight the big chubby guys. They're just, like, chubby. And I do all my super mega kung fu, and the chubby guys just do not care, like, at all. <laughs> rock time. Do you like rock? Snoot likes rock. Rock. <laughs> They're just all so smug and they just get wrecked. I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the galaxy team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> chi chi, I guess. Hmm, <laughs> the galaxy team continues to spoil things for me even after I've left. Take the blasted fragment and go, just leave us alone. Routine a wall fragment. Pro ball is just easy. <laughs> I forgot this one's part of a stone panel in the Silesian ruins. That has a marking scar that appeared to be some sort of writing. That weird writing on I made us think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure. But it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? Uh, I don't remember the people's names. Ursaluna? Goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to settle with the galaxy, which now includes you! So wait, is this like my Team Rocket now? They're gonna come after me? Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Your days are also numbered, Galaxy Four. Are you threatening me? You realize I could just throw that Snorlax right back out and absolutely brutalize all of you. Not your Pokemon, you. <laughs> Why did we let them get away? Yeah! Aw, thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. It means a lot to hear. And Jaeger with a prime sub. Oh, the exclamation mark hyper chat for Jaeger's prime subscription. You get all the guard emotes. Enjoy those emotes. And enjoy the sub badge next to me. Thank you for the follow as well, my friend. Welcome to the stream. How anticlimactic. Such a dramatic introduction. Just get kicked out by a white boy. Oh, basically. He may not be my highest level, but he's like one of my best ones. I like him. And I think he also has a sleep move, right? So if I ever want to catch a Pokemon peacefully, he can do that too. Let me see. I might actually be wrong about that. Let me double check. Oh, never mind. He doesn't have a sleep move. I take that back. Some of... I think three of my Pokemon have sleep or, or paralyze to help with catching. I wish I could throw Pokeballs while I was on this thing. Okay, I actually want to try to catch that one. Dang it, they're really good at detecting you while you're on, <laughs> on, on the mount. That sucks. <laughs> but it makes sense. As much as it sucks. Alright, I got it. I got the thing thing thing. Good work. Very good work indeed, Garo. You got the fragment back safe and sound. 
I'm well aware of Caliba's reputation, they say. She's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinu. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan of the Galaxy. Rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm her Saluna's frenzy, Garo. A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. Okay, well, you know, one step at a time. We got the wall fragment. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was. It, how am I storing that massive slab? No, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you like, but it won't change my mind. This wall fragment. What? You want to retrieve the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to call Mercer Luna, huh? If pa n that yes. I'll admit, I didn't expect- Oh, the sad, dramatic music came on. This is the part where we're supposed to feel sorry for her. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for her, Saluna. <laughs> well then, let's see that wall fragment. Oh, can I get Exclamation Shark? Oh, and chat, it's a wholesome moment. I don't know where the heck I was storing that massive chunk of stone. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think any amount of teaching me how to make the most of my satchel is going to make that fit. Aw, oh, Frymate! <laughs> how are you doing, Frymate? It's good to see you, my precious Wheelie. I hope work's been going well for you. Uh, I don't speak circles. <laughs> I speak squares, thank you very much. It's a language of circles and dots. Let me read what it says. All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. Okay. I see. Life touch life to make life. Hooray. So this means people helping each other, like I help you retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance. Just fold it up. Fold the stone. What is your name then, boy? Oh yeah, do I even have a name? Oh yeah, I do, yeah, Garo. Please let me your strength so we may help Ursa Luna. It's true that Ursa Luna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. He will return to his normal state if we could just give him some medicine. I can never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Yeah, you right. Arsalina prefers to stay on Sludge Mountain. Please join me there when you're ready. Ye, 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 We're going. You remember what it is that Pokemon looks like the letters? Wait, you don't remember what that is? That's the Pokemon that looks like the letters, the black ones. Oh, the swirly swirls that shoot water, right? Oh, they're called the unknown. Never mind. I know there's like a water Pokemon that has like swirly swirls for a face. Welcome back, Darius. Good to see you. We're gonna go deal with the next, uh, crazy Pokemon. I think they're called, like, Whirl... So oh. Yo, that's an Alpha! We need to catch it. No, no, no. But this is tall grass. Not a whole lot of tall grass, but it's enough. What is that? What is that called? Hand growth. I don't know about shape letters. I was like a weird language. I see. Got it. What level? Oh, 45. He's a tough one. Be careful. Thundercat. You know what I love about the Thundercat? Check this out. If I walk up, if I stand right here, I love how he like looks back at me. He's like, Master, what is your command? And then he's like, Silence, fool! Did my master give you permission to speak? Master, what will you have me do? All right. Luxray. Use Thunder Wave! <laughs> I love that whole look back, like, as they wait for their command. Good job. Excellent. What are you weak to? Not very effective. Alright, we'll crunch him. Gentle, don't crunch him too hard. I mean, he's level 45, I don't think you can crunch him too hard. Oh, snap! He's more durable than I thought. We might need something more effective. What is he weak to, Wigglies? Primate! With the 1500 bits! Thank you, thank you so much, Primate, for the 1500 bits. I appreciate the support. Love and appreciate you lots, my precious Wiggly and friend. Oh, the exclamation mark hype. And exclamation mark more hype in chat for Primate's 1500 bits. Glad to finally catch the stream. It's been a while since I can sit down and actually watch that. I can sit the entire stream without donating blood half, about, uh, half an hour. Good luck with that. Oh, ball goes well, my precious Wiggly and friend. That's very sweet of you to do. Fire flying ice plug. Ah, so we should have brought the pony. Well, we, can, we still can. Let's 
bring the pony out. Ice, fire, poison, blind, and bug. Okay. Super effective. Okay. Don't do too much damage, you hear? Just a gentle flame wheel. Ooh, careful. It was a critical. Okay, we can try a capture now. I'm afraid we're gonna kill it. Uh, let's do... let's use the, the Great Ball, yeah. Let's see if we can catch it. Yay! Brawl boys! Yes! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Got my first alpha in this area, let's go. Boom, ba -da -ba -da boom. Oh, crow bosses, we got the Pokemon. How are we doing on to- oh, okay. Of course, he turns around right when I throw it. <laughs> yes! That was nothing. That was nothing. That was nothing. You heard nothing. Yeah. What? <laughs> no. No. Yeah. <laughs> yes! I got the mama and the babu. <laughs> I didn't like that. <laughs> bonk! Dude, that bonk never gets old. I love it so much. That's the pre-evolution of Tangrowth. Okay, I see. Just bonk. Whoa, there's some ghosty woasties out there. Question. If these ghosts are immune to physical attacks, then why is it that I can hit them with a Pokeball? Shouldn't that be impossible? Dang it. <laughs> he looks like a chubby rock. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> I didn't know rocks could be fat. Whoa! No, don't poison the bosses. Wait, is this poison actually gonna kill me? Do I need to numb something? Oh, no, 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 no. Help! Uh, what cures poison? Or maybe if I just battle the Pokemon, I'll distract it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it, fight it. Squash it, squash it! What are you doing? Oh, we're fighting two things! Oh, no! Bulldoze it! Yay! 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 <laughs> Spooky ghosties. <laughs> Pure ghost type. That's like a Pokemon catching away with the after streak fighting. The bug. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Sorry. <laughs> Let's run. I was actually trying to run here, but then. Go, 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 go. But there's a fat rock in the way. What the heck is that? Okay, okay, I'm here. This dude got- dude man guy's got a request. Wait, it's a woman. No, it's a guy. Hello there! So you're the survey court child who called the Lord of the Woods, are you? Think you could help us setting up a new base camp or make one by the bogs? Aroto could show you someone as capable as you. He's a fresh constructor corps who's still learning the ropes. Yeah, sure. We'll do that later. I'm ready. <laughs> Ghastly's weak to Zen headbutt. I see. Over here, Garo. Ursalina, Ursaluna's in rage, yes, but he still must recall his long relationship with the Pearl Clan. He never fails to show up the moment I play my Celestica flute. Is it always the same tune? Uh oh. Oh, of course, Ursa, it's a bear. Like the constellation. Now show your medal to Ursa Luna. But remember, there's Luna's a Pokemon very dear to the Pro Clan. I will not permit you to catch him. Aw. <laughs> Can I kill him then? Go Snorlax! No. So can I kill him then? <laughs> Would you prefer that I kill it? Would that make you happier? <laughs> Oh wow, you survived. I'm impressed. 
Oh, it's adorable. You're trying to make me do less damage. What a valuable use of your turn. <laughs> My friend, end of the line. <laughs> With my last breath, I'll bulldoze you into the earth. Yay! The chub remains triumphant. Well, uh, easy. There's a Luna, my poor doll. He must be exhausted from running around. Like no, he's exhausted from getting beat the heck out of. That's what he's exhausted from. Come, let me make you all better. I hear I've here a special medicine of the Pearl Clan. It'll clear out any poison in a Pokemon's body. It's poison's what's causing Ursula Luna's rage. This is sure to calm him down. We call it Toxagon. Okay. Blech. Did it work? She looks so smug. It's so potent that we can only use it on tough, resilient Pokemon like Ursula Luna. There, there, dear Ursula Luna. You've calmed down now, haven't you? This is all very strange, though. He wasn't glowing. Yeah, it wasn't really frenzied. Very astute of you, Galaxy Team Recruit. You're exactly right. When you quelled Cleavor's frenzy, I could see the strange light rising into the sky all the way from here. But no such strange light erupted from Ursa Luna after you defeated him, nor was he glowing. And what is this cling to Ur Ursa Luna's coat? It seems like some kind of powder. What are you talking about? That goo on his muzzle? That girl from the Diamond Clown, Erizu. Now, why did she, of all people, find the need to come and tell me about Ursa Luna, I wonder? Oh, but I almost forgot something important. Play your Celestica flute for me, won't you? Wait, will the bear help me now? What can the bear do that the other mount couldn't? Ooh, someone else I could throw off a cliff. Ursula so opened his heart, learned well the sound of your playing. You received the earth play from Ursula. Yes! Imbued with essence of earth, use a certain Pokemon and grants that Pokemon the uh, to gain the power of the ground type. Okay. This one's very good at finding things that are buried in the ground. We said he's digging for treasure, even though those treasures might not always glitter or gleam. Now go and let your commander know of what transpired here, child of the galaxy team. Brr. I want to do this dialogue real quick because it might open up a third area. There's a little rush toward the treasure senses in front of him. Press Y button to dig for treasure when Ursula Luna finds a spot that makes him react particularly strongly. He gets me shinies. You might find something very nice. I'm never really a fan of those mechanics because most of the time you find junk. And then like occasionally you actually find something good. <laughs> oh, pro bosses, we got him. Uh, Snorlax is dying though. We should probably do something about that. Yo, lots of iron, thank you. Time to skedaddle, at least. I'm being shiny detector, yes. You are, yes, yes, yes. No spoilerino, please. I don't know what they're for. But I'm assuming we're going to get every single element. And boy, are there, there are a lot of them. Okay, let's go. I got something stuck to you. Wait, what? The heck is that? Oh, is that the unknown? It was following me. Was that a Pokemon? Come to think of, Volo did mention there were carvings that resembled writing on the walls of the Solacean ruins. But supposing that the Pokemon we just saw is a species with multiple forms, perhaps the carvings are actually likenesses of this very Pokemon. I'm gonna add a section specifically for that species to your Pokedex, Garo. Okay. Un- Oh, you known notes? Unknown. Un- Unowned? What's this now? Letter-like markers seem to have appeared in this section I've just added. And was that your arc phone I just heard? If your mysterious device is reacting to this new species, I wonder what that could mean. Press the Y button while viewing the cover of your Pokedex to jump to your unknown research notes. By deciphering the cryptic symbols on these notes, you can try to find all the unknown hiding throughout the region. These unknown possess a mysterious power that repels Pokeballs containing Pokemon. So you won't be able to battle them, but track them down and catch them all if you can. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Lingsy. I'm doing good, Rainbow. It's good to see you. Over good, too. Yeah, my pleasure. All right, I have a good one. Yes, report the findings. This is a new area, so we can make a lot of Pokedex progress here. Money! This music makes me smile. It makes me happy. She you know, did a good. I'm so close to getting my another star. We gotta go over to the village. I just want to open the next area. Let me go a teensy bit overtime. Just a teensy weensy bit. It might open the third area. And if it opens the third area, that gives me more to do off stream. So then, no, 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 please. 
There you are. You better hurry to the commander's office. This game ain't too bad. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty decent. I honestly, I thought it wasn't going to be good. And granted, that's from the perspective of someone who hasn't played Pokemon. I mean, I just, the visuals, I mean, well, the visuals still are pretty crappy. But uh, the gameplay is actually kind of fun. The gameplay is actually kind of fun. It's it's simple, but it's fun. It's, it's a chill game. It's definitely a relaxing, chill game. Definitely different from the action-packed stuff I usually play, but it's, it's, it's kind of nice and chill. Up we go. Legitimate card game, are you sure? <laughs> we can go to the third area, yes? Carl, we have a situation here. Let me explain. L Lilligant, our clan's Lady of the Ridge is in a frenzy, and Arizu knowingly kept this from me. Lilligant? Yeah, the only female Lilligant, which makes the honored one our Lady of the Ridge. This isn't the time for cultural lessons. I'd like to find out what Arizu was thinking, but she's nowhere in Jubilee Village. Last I saw, she was at the Wildflower, polishing off a big old plate of potato mochi. Not that I blame her, my cooking is simply irresistible after all. <laughs> if Arizu the Diamond Cloud was somehow involved with that situation with the Raging Ursa Luna of the Pearl Clan, it could lead to the two clans going at each other's throats again. Tell me, Commander, if we do end up in a struggle with the Pearl Clan, what will your people do? I don't know. We would be forced to remain neutral. Meaning what? If we were to show support on one side, it would put us at odds with the other. We came here to create a home for ourselves, not to take part in tearing the land apart. Right, of course. After all the work you put in to get us to treat one of those equals and keep us from fighting, I suppose it's no surprise you'd refuse to intervene if trouble were to break out again. Carl, perhaps you have some sort of idea how we may address this situation. I could call Ursa Luna. Ursa Luna, so Ian Ward and Caliber found you worthy. That's perfect, then. Ursa Luna should be able to sniff out Arizu wherever she's gone. If you are strong enough that Ursa Luna deem you worthy, you should be able to quell Lilligan's frenzy as well. I'll have, to, I'll have to love again. Seat then, brave arena. It's called a Brava Arena, if you'll excuse me. Is this in the same area or a different area? No. This is Mulgar. You must quell any Pokemon that could cause harm to the people of history. Always remember, we came here to make a new home where we could live without war or strife. Got it. Start war. Start World War III. Understood. Right on our soon and follow the blue system sniff out areas in the crypt. Oh, this seems like it'll actually be lengthy. Okay, maybe we're not getting a new area so soon. It would be a little strange if we could get one that fast. Fine. It's taking longer to progress the story than I thought. Start war, pa. <laughs> Alright, well, we do have a lot of side quests and a lot of Pokedex filling that we can do off stream. And I could probably adjust the team composition as well because there's some more alphas out there. But either way, Wigglies, we're going to wrap things up here. Maybe I could take a picture with the Pokemon before I go, though. I'm not Nyumsies. Why do you come to my stream and say hi, Nyumsies? Wait, with that war starting, you implied that there are wars in the Pokemon universe? Yeah, apparently the Diamond and Pearl Clan hate each other and they warred with each other. Yeah, I want to take photos. How? Can I not have my back to the camera, please? Okay. That's better. Change your pose. <laughs> we'll do that. Next. Thumbs up. Braced for battle. Yay! Snoot is a Pokemon master. Okay, okay, okay. Now. Start shooting. Wait. <laughs> Wait, but I need my Pokemon next to me, though. How do I get my Pokemon here? Prepare a Pokemon. Put, uh... Put, put my Thundercat. Yeah, yeah, Put, put this one. Oh, can I only have one? Okay, fine. What would you like to do? Change the screen. Uh, pink screen? No! It's not to my taste. It's absolutely not to my taste. Blue screen. <laughs> my pleasure, Josh. Hang on, you gotta get a picture. Oh, wait, he kind of blends in with the Storlax. Dang it. Uh, next. The light green screen. Put the ballsy in the cup. See, Alakazam is not gonna be level 69. Uh, orange screen. That'll do. Okay. Yes, change the lens filter. Alright, you know what, now leave that alone. Take photos. Ch 
Change your pose. Snoot is gonna be... <laughs> yes. Yes, and then... And then change it to, uh... No, 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 no. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Capture button. Okay, got it. Perfect. Snoot has art. We have our thumbnail, Wigglies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I want to stop. Actually, technically, I could make this much easier on myself and just... No! Well, I guess we gotta do it the hard way. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, well, Wigglies, we are already eight minutes over time. We need to wrap things up. If you enjoyed the stream, make sure you don't forget to follow. I do stream every single day, starting at 12 p.m. Central, ending at 3 p.m. Central. Follow so you don't miss out. Subscribe! And hit the notification bell to the main YouTube channel. The best moments from several stream with top-notch edits. You don't want to miss it. And you can join the Discord. Level 3 partner Discord server. Tons of Dragon Heroes! I feel free to DM me. And let me know what games you'd like to see me stream in the future. But that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you had fun. And I'll catch you next time.